has a picture of, uh, I don't know if that would be a really early syrup, but I'm not going to go back to it, so I'll pick it up here. Here's one, uh, 78. Instead of the day of, it speaks about the garden again in line 16. Instead of the day of judgment, it's the day of decision. And look, a day when the trumpet is blown. Ah, that's the first day of the seventh month in the Bible. And ye come in multitudes, and the heaven is open, and become as gates. And there's that lovely image. And the hills are set in motion, and become as a mirage, or a running sand. And uh, hell lurketh in ambush. And reward is proportioned out, 26. And gardens, 32. And vineyards, and maidens for companions. This is what Westerners criticize the idea that what, 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 the men have the maidens? What do the women have up there? Do they have men for companions? So the Westerners don't, uh, Westerners are, get upset about these particular images, but they're images of a uh, male-dominated universe that was uh, normal in uh, those times. I don't think people reckoned the fate of women so much back in the B.C. period or the early parts of the modern period. So, I mean, okay, you say this is supernatural, so it should have done, and maybe you're right. But um, if it's not supernatural, just human document, then it reflects its times. So I mean, you can't ask for perfection if it's a human document. If it's a supernatural document, you can argue if you want. I'm not going to get into that argument. But there is uh, this point that there are maids there who are serving, the obviously, the men who are there. Never mind. That's up to you to decide. No lying, no vain discourse. Lord of the heaven and earth, on that day when the angels and the Spirit stand arrayed, 38, notice the Spirit. The Spirit. Other surahs call that Gabriel. But in this particular surah and a few others, it's just the Spirit. What's that? The Holy Ghost in Christianity, the Holy Spirit. It's in the Dead Sea Scrolls, too, the Holy Spirit. The Ruach HaKodesh, the Spirit of Holiness. So again, he's got that idea that has come down through different um, traditions. And uh, again, I warn you, warning 40, of a doom, a day, when a man will look upon that which his own hands, there it is, have sent before, what is that, his works, and the disbeliever would cry, would I were dust. So basically, a similar uh, works righteousness sort of uh, presentation there too. Of the, and we're talking about not the day of judgment as such. Here it's called the day of decision. Uh, my corn is falling apart as you see. See if there's anything here. Um, I've got it all of those things. I want to go back to the beginning in a moment. There on uh, Surah uh, 88, the overwhelming, more of that imagery, Surah 89, interesting, speaks of Ad and Thamud. And he speaks of Ad and Thamud quite often in the Quran. These are different tribes of peoples that had messengers sent to them in the past. Theoretically, Arabian messengers. Messengers. And do not see how the Lord dealt with Ad, or the tribe of Thamud. And that's, uh, you'll find, you can look up in an index and see all the references to Ad and Thamud. They are uh, complemented in other sources of the Quran by references to uh, Hud and Saleh. So, uh, Hood was sent to one of them, I forget.